And Norman is sat patiently at the door. Come on out then. You going out? Okay, so that's both Kenny and Norman out. Out, out. just looking up the road and in the distance I can see a couple of foxes I'm gonna go like that because one is coming bounding down the middle of the road this way okay whoever it is has stopped Kenny's just decided to go and sit over there I'm not sure if that's Jimmy You know when you look at something and you can't see if it's coming this way or going the other way? That's where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> so he was coming this way. Is that? That's one of the other cubs, I believe. I'll just keep an eye on the pathway by the car over there on the left. No. No, and whoever it is up the road there is going the other way now. So yeah, can't quite see who it is, but I think it may have been Jimmy. Right. No, nothing else going on out here. Ken's just decided to sit there. Ken, Kenny, Kenny, get off the road. Ken, you little monkey, get off the road. Kenny, Ken, Mr. Selective Hearing again. Now, if a car should come, he will get off the road, I know that. Ken, Kenny, no, he's not going to listen to me. Right. Wait and see who turns up. But like I say, Kenny and Norman are both outside at the moment. And they're bound to be coming back in very soon. Look who's waiting at the door. Who's in there? Out there even. Come on. In, Norman. Quick. Norman. Come on. Norms. You coming in? Norman. He's been eaten out of the bowl. Norman. Oh, I'm just trying to stand here with my foot on the door to hold one door open. Right, come on in. Quick. There's chips out there now as well. Oh, they're both little monkeys, aren't they? Right, are you coming in, Ken, or not? Right, let me just pick Norman up. Right, Norms, come on. And I've just got to swap hands because I can't pick him up otherwise. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just trying to pick Norman up. My chip's now gone. Right, here we go. Right, that's Norman in. Kenny's there. Chip, chip. I don't quite know where she went because that car came. Chip, chip. I don't know if you can see eyes over there. So the light, the bright light that's on the square light, just below it to the left, there are two eyes. Let me just see if I can zoom into them. Can you just see the eyes there now glowing slightly? Right, let me put that back down to normal size. Chip, chip. Oh, Chip's over there, so that's not even Chip over there, so it's got to be one of the cubs. Right, Kenny's going for a wander. The eyes are still looking. Maybe that's number three or Pip. Come on then, Chip. 
Come on, because you didn't have any chicken, my lovely. Camera goes more blurry this way, I've noticed. But And there is going to be a car. Chip! Quick, because there's a car coming. Chip! Here. Quick. Come on. Move. Chip. God, I wish you'd go. That's right, the, this car's going to slow down anyway. Right, Chip. Thank you. Right, she's moved. Car slowed down. Thank you. I'll just say thank you to the driver and put my hand up so we know what's going on. I'll just have a look in a minute and see where Kenny is. Just wave to them as they've gone past. But they're very aware of the foxes and they love to see them. Right, Kenny had gone across the road, so he's over on the left-hand side somewhere. Eyes in the garden have gone. And so has Chip. Right, we'll see who comes back in a minute then. Norman's indoors, Kenny's out. Okay, we'll see what happens. Okay, so Chip Chip is still around. Come on then, my baby girl. And back slowly so I don't topple over if you should see the sky <laughs> then you know what's happened right Kenny is now up there by that second lamp post come on then chip here we go chip chip ready here how many do you want to take a couple. Save your little old legs, love. I think there is another fox up there to the left as well. It's laid up on the path a bit further up. I tried to see if it would work on the camera, but it wouldn't. Right, and there goes one of the babies just ran across the road over there. Right, so Chip's only taken the one piece. And she's gone off to the right. Hmm. Okay. Just want to see if she's going to come back. Because even though all the cubs are big enough now to fend for themselves, I'm sure she's still taking some food back. For them. Well, I just need to have a little look here because well, I don't think you can quite see but past the cars on the left on the right even but before the lamppost is something it looks like there's a lump of something or some I don't know can't quite see if it is a fox laid on the road or not uh, not on the road on the path Can you see where I mean though? Let me just go a bit bigger. Where that puddle is, past those yellow bollard things, there is definitely something laid on the path. And it looks like a fox from where I'm standing. But I don't want to go up there and frighten it because I don't know who it is. Unless my eyes are deceiving me. Just not quite sure. Hello? Okay, well, the fox just peered round the, that fence here to the left at me. And I said hello and it ran. So let me just put that back down. Right, I'm going to do me walking back business come on then but i really don't i mean I, that could just be i don't know what it could be in the pathway up there very strange unless it's an optical illusion of sorts who knows right, i'm going back 
But yeah, the cob that ran past was either Pip or number three. It didn't follow where Chip Chip went, so and Kenny I've just seen here I've just seen Kenny right up the road. Right, I'll give up there for a minute and come back. Yeah, Kenny's just right up there on the right-hand side. Okay, I will be back very, very soon.